Welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. So red and white, of course, the preeminent colours at Old Trafford, which is now officially the largest club football ground in England. Its capacity 75,000 and growing. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I'm going to say the Uruguayan, Cavani. His willingness to put so much effort in is why he scores so many goals. And that also translates to his defensive work in pressing, chasing and tackling. It's all there from him. Not to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. So we're up and running. Cavani. Oh, he's in! Hits one! He scored! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Manchester United take the early advantage. Gonzalez. Gay. Germain. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Cavani. This is promising. Gets it back. Cavani. A brilliant interception. Mondonda gets it away. Sakai gets rid without sophistication. And it's Fernandez. Hits one! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Okay. Marseille have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Paye. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And here's Cavani. Rashford. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Oh! 
Oh, the ball's come loose. Benedetto. Moran battles to win it back. And it's played forward. Germain. He spotted the run and played... Benedetto! It's in! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. That has certainly made things interesting. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Paye. Germain. Chaletta Shah. Gonzalez. Is to switch the play. And it's Fernandez. Shaw. Rashford. Shaw. Going for goal! Marvellous goal! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Manchester United take the lead. Paye. Germain. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And there's a long ball. And the defence can get it clear. Benedetto. Now a chance to break. He's away. He's been side down. Is that a penalty? Well, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. It's bounced out! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. So, a really good half of football, three goals, and just one separating. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see. The referee's awarded a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Moran drives it forward. Okay. Plays it long. It's out for a goal kick.
Okay. Saka. Has gone out. And here's Paye. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Chaletta Shah. German. Marseille to retain the ball, but oh, seemingly in no rush to break forward. Deftly done. And it's hoisted clear. Okay. Paye. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Pogba. And he's going long. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Paye. Sure, man. All is over the line. Shaw, he does have an assist to his name. And he's cut it out. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Shot at goal! Back of the net! Two to the good! They have breathing space! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Manchester United take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Tries lifting it over. Bruno Fernandes. Cavani gets flagged offside. Marseille are making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Mondonda gets it upfield. Paye. Benedetto! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. <laughs> Marseille making consecutive changes here. Has got good distance on that. Ah, oh, he's given it away. Oh, 
Saka. Gonzalez. Forward it goes. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. He's looked long this time. Nagatomo looking to get on the end of this. So that's it. It is all over. Manchester United did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, if ever there was a good tone setter for.